All right, welcome back. This is uh, Chef Tom Foley and my lovely wife, Jerry, from Sellers Bar and Grill, Chicago's Edgewater neighborhood. While we're all cooped up during this shelter-in-place order in Chicago, we thought we'd share a few recipes from the uh, Sellers catalog. So you can see our Instagram and Facebook sites down below. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, visit us on our website at sellersbarandgrill.com. And we hope you join us. We're going to try to post a video every week. So let's get started with this week's recipe. Here we go with our spinach and blue cheese meatloaf. First we have our ingredients. You'll need two pounds or so ground beef. I use an 80-20 blend, which means two large eggs, a Spanish onion, about a cup or so of cremini mushrooms, fresh spinach, crumbled gorgonzola cheese, a couple slices white bread, milk, garlic powder, oregano, salt, pepper, Worcestershire, and breadcrumbs. This onion and these mushrooms will become this, a sharp knife, a lot of good chop. First, we'll saute the mushrooms until brown. In the same pan, we saute the mushrooms in, saute the onions. The onions will deglaze the pan, pick up the fond from the mushroom. Add the sauteed onions to the mushroom. Wilt your spinach, also set aside to cool. In a bowl, soak the sliced white bread and milk and break up with your hands. This is called a panade. It will lighten and soften the final texture. In a large bowl, place the ground beef and one egg per pound of beef, in this case two. Add the garlic powder, oregano, Worcestershire, salt, pepper, and the panade mix. Mix this thoroughly with your hands so there are no chunks of ground beef. You're looking for a fairly smooth now add the mushrooms, onions, spinach, and the crumbled gorgonzola. Mix this thoroughly. Add about a cup or so of unseasoned breadcrumbs per pound of beef. You want it firm, but not stiff. Work it. Oh, I need a little bit more breadcrumb. That's perfect. Mix the mixture on a cutting board and work it into a bread loaf shape, taking out any air. This technique will keep it from splitting while baking. Now move the loaf onto a screen on a baking sheet. There is a fair amount of fat here, and we don't want it to swim in grease after it cooked. Don't use a loaf pan. Now this is an important step. Rub the surface with a little water until it is smooth, as I am doing here. This will create a crust while it bakes, and will also keep it from splitting on the top. Bake the meatloaf at 350 degrees for approximately an hour and 15 minutes until the internal temperature reaches 155. All ovens vary, so it's best to use a thermometer and rely on temperature. Once it is cooked, cool the meatloaf completely. If you were hoping to eat it now, well, you should have started it earlier. Wrap it in plastic and refrigerate it overnight before serving. Now let's make the sauce. For the sauce, we have sliced cremini mushrooms, shallots, thyme, white wine, chicken stock, and beef demi-glace. If you don't have demi-glace, use beef stock instead of chicken stock. Saute the mushrooms in olive oil on medium-high. You want to develop some good color. Once they're nice and brown, add the shallots and thyme, seasoned with salt and pepper. Move the spoon around like you know what you're doing. Now splash in some wine. The most important thing when choosing a wine to cook with is A, it should be dry with little or no oak, and B, it should be tasty. You're going to drink the rest. Now add the chicken stock and demi-glace and reduce. How long should you reduce it? Oh, until it's about like this. To serve, we cut two slices from the cool meatloaf and brown it in a non-stick pan or seasoned cast iron pan and develop a crust like this. I like to add a little butter to the sauce at the last second, silky appearance, and gorgeous mouth. Place the meatloaf with mashed potatoes and green beans. Spoon over the sauce, and there you go, voila. You've got the Broadway Cellars spinach and blue cheese meatloaf. Enjoy.